if AI algorithms are now influencing the human system uh, socially and globally, or they're sort of in a way conditioning emotional, relational, in energetic and tribal reality, perceived reality, experienced reality, interpreted reality, and associated behavior and decisions and interpretive lenses. If that conditioning is occurring in our world, and once it's become part of the collective subconscious, how do we unwind that? And, and by, what, by what mechanism and for what purposes and, and generate a sustainable process for humanity as a result? Teaching the capacity to have sovereign consciousness that is not triggered or influenceable by social media or by misinformation or by uh, agenda or algorithms is, is a, a path and process. And towards that, and the, the part of the challenge is scaling that globally compared to the, the, the vast collective shifts that are happening, the seismic shifts that are happening via the effect of TikTok, YouTube, and, and Facebook at this time. If, if we can close the degrees of separation between people who do understand what's going on in the world and get them to work together collaboratively and generate a, a, a body of knowledge or a support system for the deprogramming of the, the current AI system, perhaps that could help us uh, learn to trust each other again as a species and to get past our prejudices, our biases, our fears, our projections, our imaginings, and our uh, mistrust. A way to uh, potentially counterbalance the current tidal forces of uh, social media misapplication of algorithms that seems to be dividing humanity politically, socially, and uh, relationally would be to find people who are knowledgeable and capable already of how those dynamics are unfolding or are already motivated to help find a solution to bring them together. And we intend to do that in, in our organization. And we want to invite anybody and everybody who would have such thoughts and feelings and intentions to collaboratively participate with us. Because we do see that humanity is in effect being emotionally and socially and politically terraformed by current uh, misapplication of, a, of a AI algorithms for for-profit reasons. And once that is wound into the human species process, it may be very challenging to unwind it in, in time to get us working together to generate a sustainable life process for humanity for the future and solve the climate crisis. Uh, AI ethics are going to be vital in, in the future. They, in our view, that even though there are several systems that are being developed internationally, there isn't an international standard. And it appears that that's an intentional process, meaning there really isn't uh, an international standard that any, or any organization or uh, for-profit organization or nation wants to adhere to at this moment in part due to cultural differences or differences in values or agenda or strategies or intention for the development and maintenance of their, their nation. So we're, we're hoping uh, on the SME platform to develop a, an AI ethics model and system of governance that will allow for the evolution of AI in a trustworthy, dependable, caring, and sustainable way on the social movement engine. And we always wanna ask for any suggestions on anyone's part on how we can affect that because it is an incredibly complex, uh, complex situation. It's rapidly changing AI and its capacities are rapidly evolving. And if, if there isn't an ethical model that's designed which may actually involve a, an AI developing ethics for humanity ahead of the curve of other AI developments, 
we, we may not be able to act fast enough. Our, our approach to ethical AI and trustworthy AI and, uh, and an associated system of developmental governance for multiple narrow AIs on the SME platform is likely to be different, significantly different than a lot of other in, uh, AI development environments. And, and we understand that. And that said, there can be a lot of uh, snobbery in, in regard to the, uh, the process of developing ethics. We're being very candid in that regard, meaning there are people who feel that they are absolute experts in regard to AI ethics and that they know better than everybody else and that everyone should simply understand the, the brilliance and wisdom that they operate from. And, and then people say, no, I disagree. And they don't understand why uh, they haven't been able to arrive at a collaborative uh, global agreement in regard to ethics. Simultaneously, uh, there is such a desire for AI to develop fast, e even if there are dangers, uh, in, order, in, in hopes that it will solve some of our global problems by evolving very quickly, that, that a lot of organizations and nations don't seem to want to harness it or limit it in any fundamental way uh, because they don't want to they don't want to get in the way of innovation or, or seeming innovation or progress, even if that innovation or progress were to take down the internet or uh, create a, a, a disruption globally. An approach that has utility and will just to complexify the situation. And I apologize if I don't recall it precisely. I believe Amy will better than I. There was an an AI that was uh, developed to, uh, I, I believe, create uh, medicines uh, and and or uh, medical solutions. And with a slight tweak, they were able to create forty thousand poisons in about six hours. It was it was an AI that was designed to manage um, drug interactions. So basically, it would tell you if like two drugs you know you were taking were going to cause a detrimental effect. And they tweaked it to literally have it develop a way to know to use all the drugs in interaction to each other to create biological weapons. Forty thousand in six hours. How how fast can things go wrong with AI? So what we're getting at by saying that is that the use cases are how if you've got the most brilliant people in the world creating AI, how many, pre, in air quotes, creative and potentially destructive scenarios might they be able to think up unintentionally? Or how many use cases that they don't know all the implications of down line might they be able to develop? The chat GPT uh, application that's out right now, it's an incredible AI software and it, it can deliver answers to questions that that people, very good answers to questions that people pose to it far more than a search engine could in a baked out form and create, write music or create, write books even as a result of its, of its outputs. And how fast might that change or transform or even mutate life process on this planet if it, and when it becomes globally far more available than it is right now. It has great utility and, and great benefit. And also, if it's just the beginning of the potential influence of AI in the world, uh, then uh, how it, there is no way, as far as I'm aware, even the most brilliant people on the planet can't truly project all of the permutations and implications of what an AI could produce in the, in the far-flung future. So how do you put an ethical model on something you can't even fully describe? Uh, there, there are AI ethics frameworks. There are many of them that are truly excellent and sophisticated. And, and they're, they're available and they're not being, even if they're being very 
well described and defined, it doesn't mean that they're applied and adhered to within for-profit organizational development and certainly not within the military or in the intelligence industry. If we're not being critical, just hopefully accurately descriptive. We can't solve everything uh, via AI. We can't manage all information and curate it on the platform only through AIs. There's gonna to have to be constant and ongoing human intervention. Even AIs can't catch uh, bots, so to speak, that would attempt to interrupt uh, various current platforms. So AI would need to be involved in governing AI, limiting the potential damage of AI, and simultaneously, it's never going to be a perfect process. And when you when you have AIs that are battling other AIs all across the internet, trying to keep platforms secure, or trying to keep data accurate, or trying to keep uh, dysfunction of platforms from occurring through the interaction of, with other AIs, how complexified is that situation likely to become and how fast? And where is governance in that process? Where is ethics in such a process? of AI to AI competition <laughs> across the internet. So, and this is, this is the first step for humanity and artificial intelligence, just the very beginning. <laughs>